Hey guys, it's Ice One Five Three Six Three here with another F1 2012 video. Today I'm gonna be showing you this really, really buggy sprint mode race I've just had today. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. But um, now that like now that it's been Christmas and most people have got the game, it really just seems like get way more like so much more buggy. Like I've never experienced something that some things like this before. Like at the start, sometimes everyone else starts around you and you just lag behind them the lights aren't even out for you and everyone else has started or oh, it's the other way around sometimes but yeah in this race it's just it's i've never experienced anything like it before it's crazy weird but um yeah so we commentating over it a bit i guess and um so we're on that one we're going through the like the back straight i guess it could be called and now we're gonna like yeah, this would usually be set to three, but they've changed the layout of the track. But look at the cars in front when you see them. Look at them on the mini map. They do not look like um, com user controlled cars, or because look, yeah, they look like AI. You know, they're not really doing much. They're just sitting behind each other. They're going quite slowly, and they're all just following each other pretty much. So that's pretty weird. And then um, yeah, it's just weird. So we, we, if this was um last year, that would have been home straight just up there. But look at them, they're just it's weird. None of them are going for an overtake or anything, they're just following behind each other. Unless they're unbelievably clean drivers. But I don't think that would really explain that. Because look at that, apparently the 1 minute 24 seconds in front of me, but you can see them right there. So it's just extremely buggy. Look, so I can just dive up your side, they don't even try and defend. Look, that one kind of keeps away from me. Look, just look, little spin there nearly. But, um, yeah, we're up to six now apparently. So, um, yeah, it's really weird this race, I don't know why. I actually go to the back of them there. Because, like, that's exactly what AA do. They slow down there. And they get a penalty for that when you kind of cut across the track. But I guess that's just karma from what happened earlier when I went into the back of them. But, um, yeah, so. Let me go down the back straight here, hang with, no it's not hang straight is it, the back straight, so um, we lost connection to someone there, and I'm up in 4th, and um, the car in front 12 seconds in front, but you, can't, you can clearly see he's right there, and that's not 12 seconds in front, so that's quite weird, and I'll green the flag, there was no accident, so I don't know why that was there, it's just, um, yeah, corner here, this is a pretty fast corner, but, see look, he's following the racing line perfectly, absolutely perfectly, that's, and then he disconnects, which is pretty weird, now we're up to 7th for some reason, it's crazy, crazy, crazy this race, and now we're going to come up to Hangar Straight, yeah, here it is, Hangar Straight, yeah, we'll probably get up to some, some decent speed, 160 miles an hour at the moment, and we're apparently we're 3 minutes behind the car in front, and we're 7th out of 6 cars, and like, there's just a disconnection spree here. Loads of people disconnect. I do not know why, but it's crazy. So I'm gonna stop playing online for a little bit, and maybe get the career mode series up and running. I've got the um, I've recorded the first race and I've commentated over it in Mel Melbourne, which was a pretty good race. But then the race in Malaysia, I I didn't finish the race unfortunately, and um, it wasn't the best race to be honest. So. Yeah, but I'm going to put highlights up and um, commentary, so... And it's China next, then Bahrain, then Catalina, and then Monaco. And all these races are 100%, so... You know, I'm expecting something quite crazy to happen in Monaco. There's going to be a few, mis few retirements for sure, definitely. Um, maybe even a safety car. I've never experienced a safety car in this game, so if you have, could you, like, put it in the comment section below. I've got a few red flags, but that's only when I try to. It's quite easy in Monaco. I was the first corner, just like spin kind of, and hit the wall, and then um, all the cars pile up behind you, and then it's just red flag, really. So um, yeah. But um, apparently they they're gonna release a patch to to do with the safety car, and um, and also you know when there's like a crash and the car retires, the um way it just because you know it goes away really quickly. They're gonna um, change that apparently to make it, you know, so they last maybe one to two laps or something, and it can just because the safety car would only like 
it's kind of, they've got a program that's slightly wrong. The safety car only comes out if um, like a car is on the track a certain amount of time, and um, so if like it's only about ten seconds that the car is on the track since um, it's retired, but they're gonna plan on making it a few laps. So yes, yeah, that's, that's quite good. That should make it a bit more enjoyable. It's been Iceman five three six three here signing out. Goodbye.